Turkey is a drone superpower. How Turkey's Bayraktar TB2 is revolutionizing the battlefield. Have you ever wondered how a mid-sized power can drive geopolitical outcomes around the globe? Look no further than Turkey's innovative use of armed drones in warfare. Turkey's development of the Bayraktar TB2 drone is part of a larger effort to become self-sufficient in the defense industry and reduce dependence on foreign weapons. The TB2's capabilities, coupled with Turkey's investment in communication, command and control, and intelligence systems, have allowed Turkey to effectively use drones as a primary element in airstrikes and achieve overmatch by using quantity over quality. Join us as we dive into the story of how Turkey has become a drone superpower and the impact it's having on the world stage. We will introduce to you the next topics in the video. Turkey's effort towards self-sufficiency in defense industry. Innovative use of Bayraktar TB2 in conventional battles. Turkey's success with drones leading to major player in global development and export. Impact on other middle-sized powers and future of military strategy. The role of coral electronic warfare in tactics in Operation Spring Shield. Bayraktar TB2 capabilities and limitations. The role of indigenous munition systems, MAML and MAMC, in the TB2's effectiveness. The future of Turkey's drone program. The integration of many drones and air-to-air -air missiles with larger drones. The role of Turkey's defense industry in foreign policy. Turkey has emerged as a drone superpower on the world stage. It has become one of a select group of countries that can produce, use, and export armed drones extensively. Turkey's innovative use of drone squadrons as a surrogate for an air force in a conventional battle has provided a strategy for middle-sized powers to emulate. Several such powers have bought cost-effective systems from Turkey with the aim of replicating this approach, potentially changing the nature of local conflicts and the calculations of larger observing nations. This study examines Turkey's innovative use of the Bayraktar TB2 and other drones as a case study of how a mid-sized power can drive geopolitical outcomes around the globe through drones. The Bayraktar TB2 is a Turkish-made medium-altitude long-endurance unmanned combat aerial vehicle, UCAV, capable of remotely controlled or autonomous flight operations. It is relatively small, with a low radar cross-section and lower flight speed, making it difficult for radars to detect. It is manufactured by Turkey's Baykar company, primarily for the Turkish Armed Forces, and is credited to MIT-educated engineer Selçuk Bayraktar, who is President Erdogan's son-in-law. Turkey has effectively used the cost-effective Bayraktar TB2 as a mobile air artillery in conventional battles, achieving overmatch by using quantity over quality. The use of these armed drones as the primary element in airstrikes has changed the course of many conflicts. Turkey has become a major player in the global development of armed drones and is making a name for itself as a supplier of cost-effective, yet effective, drones to various countries. The Bayraktar TB2, a relatively low-tech and lightweight drone, has proven to be a formidable weapon in several conflicts, including Ethiopia and Ukraine. It weighs an eighth of the U.S.'s high-tech Reaper drone, costs a sixth of the Reaper's price tag, and can cruise for about 24 hours with its payload of four small laser-guided munitions. The precision-guided munitions are said to have wreaked havoc among enemy fire support assets such as tanks and artillery. The low-key design of the TB2, its slow cruising speed and small radar cross-section may have bamboozled the operators of Russia's surface-to-air missile radars, which are optimized for fast jets or missiles. However, it's not a miracle weapon. Multiple TB2S have been lost in Libya and Syria and shot down in Ukraine by Russian SAMs. Despite its limitations, the TB2's effective deployment in Ukraine has further illuminated the scale and sophistication of Turkey's drone program. In late February, early March 2020, during Turkey's Operation Spring Shield in Syria, the Turkish military first deployed drone squadrons as an air force in a conventional battle. This tactic, which used Bayraktar TB2 drones carrying indigenous hardware such as MAML and MAMC laser-guided smart munition systems, allowed the drones to act as forward observers, forward air controllers, and hunters all at once, conducting intelligence surveillance reconnaissance, ISR, target detection and marking for shooting missions and assault. This tactic was unprecedented and allowed armed drones to be effective even against advanced air defense systems. The goal was to push back Syrian regime elements in Idlib in response to an airstrike against Turkish units, which killed 33 Turkish soldiers on February 27, 2020. The tactic was later replicated in Libya and Nagorno-Karabakh. 
During Turkey's Operation Spring Shield in Syria, the use of Bayraktar TB2 armed drones in a coordinated manner with other elements, such as the Coral Electronic Warfare EW, jamming system, proved effective against advanced air defense systems, including Russia's Panzers. The drones destroyed dozens of tanks, infantry fighting vehicles, and short-range air defense systems, and notably eliminated eight of Syria's Russian-made Panzer S-1 surface-to-air missile systems and Buk air defenses. This was the largest concentration of drones used in this manner before and the first time a force used drones as the primary element in airstrikes. The use of drone swarms, in combination with indigenous loitering munitions designed to destroy the radars of air defense systems, made it difficult for air defense systems to defend against, showing that drones can be a significant military tool when used in a coordinated and innovative way. The development of the Bayraktar TB2 drone is part of a larger effort that dates back to the 1990s, when Turkey's modernization and strategic transformation started with the goal of becoming self-sufficient in the defense industry. The Turkish military initiated a 30-year, $150 billion military modernization program with $60 billion allocated for land forces. In the past, Turkey used to meet its defense needs entirely through imports, but in the last 20 years, Turkey has made it a strategic priority to reduce dependence on foreign weapons and become more competitive in the defense industry. Its recent projects include the National Combat Aircraft Project, the National Combat Ship, National Armed Drones, and National Helicopters. Turkey is also investing in smarter technologies, heavier platforms, and more innovative concepts for its unarmed systems. It is working on integrating many drones with larger drone platforms, as well as in the early stages of integrating air-to-air -air indigenous missiles with its Akinci drone. Turkey has also heavily invested in communication, command and control, and intelligence capabilities, such as the Turkish Armed Forces Integrated Communication System, TAFIX, which has integrated communication between land, naval, and air forces and has capabilities to share data in real time. These investments have gone hand-in-hand -hand with an effort to bring the military-industrial complex under the government's sway so it can produce the technologies it needs to be active in multiple fronts. Turkey's defense industry is not just an industry that arms the military, it's also an instrument of foreign policy. Conclusion In conclusion, Turkey's innovative use of armed drones on the battlefield has proven to be a game-changer in the world of military strategy. The development of the Bayraktar TB2 drone is part of a larger effort by Turkey to become self-sufficient in the defense industry and reduce dependence on foreign weapons. The TB2's capabilities, coupled with Turkey's investment in communication, command and control, and intelligence systems, have allowed Turkey to effectively use drones as a primary element in airstrikes and achieve overmatch by using quantity over quality. Turkey's success with drones has led to it becoming a major player in the global development and export of armed drones, and has provided a strategy for other middle-sized powers to emulate. As technology continues to advance, the use of drones in warfare is only set to increase, making Turkey's experience with drones an important case study for the future of military strategy.